today I am on my way to pick my two snakes up that I purchased um, a couple days ago. I actually talked Craig into taking off from work with me and we took a little road trip. So it's about two and a half hours away, but let's see. What we're She got a double pet um, enhancer genetic stripe, and it's it's really really cool. The enhancer project is actually compatible with the Desert Ghost. It's a different lineage, and they're really pretty, really nice. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to look at some of the stuff you can make with it. What do you think? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm excited. What are you planning on putting it into other than like long term? What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of the, the puzzle stuff and. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I really like the Monarch stuff too. You want to go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the Monarch's really great, right? The Monarch with this stuff would be really, really neat. And that's something that Tom Harpin, the new you were talking about it. It's a really cool Monarch G-Stripe on Desert Ghost. So we're gonna look at some of that project and uh, show you guys what we can make. All right. All right, so first one is the Enhancer Genetic Stripe. I got this boy from Billy at Mutation Creation. And that's just, again, the, 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 the visual version of what you can make. For those of you guys who don't make, who aren't into ball pythons as much, it's, it's kind of strange to be working with normal snakes and trying to make something that's different, but that's how the recessives work. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, and, and that's why they're, you know these are, get really expensive sometimes, because they might have effort hitting the odds. So this one's cool, who, your favorite one, Yes. Let me take those and I'll let you take that one out. So what do we have here? That one's the Enhancer G-Stripe Clown. That is exciting. It's so clean. So that boy's been working for me a little bit, but not as much as I'd like. He's been a uh, reluctant breeder. I love the little diamonds on the back though. So this project, just giving some shout outs today, the, the G-Stripe Clown Project was pioneered by Kevin Blueford. It's, he calls it a kiki ball. And so he's the guy who's kind of been spearheading that and I'm very lucky to be in the project and working on some cool stuff with it. That'd be interesting a puzzle, huh? It would. I don't even okay. know what it'd do, but it would, uh, that's, that's the best pombos though, is when you can't imagine it, then you know it's gonna change in an unpredictable way. So I mean, it's gonna be probably the best looking thing it could, it could possibly be. It's not as, I like to get this, those jeans out of there. Right? Yeah. They don't look like, they still look like too much to be at the super though, of course, but yellow belly, black pastel hat. Um, I just love that pattern and just the boldness of it. Okay, y'all, so you just seen <laughs> my embarrassment. I have been going to Justin's. Uh, I was just so excited and so overwhelmed and that was a huge deal for me. Like I've been following Justin since day one. Um, so you're going to see a little bit more of embarrassment I'm going to attach. Um, so after this video, you'll see, um, when I first met Justin in 2016 in Daytona, I was totally like, oh my gosh, this guy is like famous. Should I ask for his autograph? <laughs> you know, I didn't know. Um, but he's definitely someone that I'm super excited that I've got to tour his facility. And um, I'm thankful that I live close enough to be able to do that. Uh, he's a super nice, 
super nice guy, so that's a huge deal when you're someone that's, you know, just starting out and super small. Um, and honestly, y'all, you know, being a girl is, is a little difficult. You know, some, some people out there don't really take you serious, but um, this is something I definitely love doing, and I'm super thankful that um, I have a great mentor. I have several people that help me out constantly, um, and I'm super thankful. Like, Justin took the time of day to, you know, allow me to, to come do that, and um, that was, wow. I cannot believe I embarrassed myself. <laughs> Actually, I can. Um, I embarrassed myself the first time I met him, um, and the second time, and uh, the third time. So I was like, man, he doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know who I am. And Craig all the time reassures me, he knows who you are. You embarrass yourself every time. So um, I didn't pass out. That's a plus. Um, but that was a huge deal. Like, not only you know what I just said, but it was a huge deal because I made Craig leave the house totally when I try to do my videos. Um, and he doesn't watch me. So doing that in front of Justin, oh, what was I thinking? But that was definitely a um, once in a lifetime experience. So uh, the two girls I got, super excited. Um, I'm starting to get into the puzzle stuff. So worst case scenario, grow that girl up. And if she proves, she proves. Um, I wanted to get it while Puzzle was, you know, kind of affordable right now because seeing some of the combos that Justin's doing and then um, some of the combos I've seen here recently, it's about to get crazy. Um, so, if she proves, she proves. If not, she's really pretty fire. <laughs> um, and then the other girl, I've actually already ordered a mail for her. So, I'm super excited to get him. Um, he's coming from Canada, so Billy from Mutation Creations has the perfect mail for my girl. Uh, but we gotta wait to ship, so we will see. Uh, but yes, I'm super thankful for Justin to allow me to do that, and um, just literally made my day like you just don't even know. So um, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, don't make fun of me too much. You're gonna see some of the most embarrassment um, ever out uh, here in just a second. So I have some awesome friends and you're going to see what they put me through. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>